Hey pals, welcome to race night at the EFHL Speedway, or should I say race middle of the day. I wanted to do one more set of time trials before I uh, um, put this slot car track up for the, uh, the weekend. And I've just noticed that one of the mirrors has fallen off the Mercedes. I see it there on the carpet, so I'll go pick that up while I explain. We're just going to do the same thing again. Remember, we're down to four cars now because the Mustang uh, is no longer reliable to go around the track, much less compete in a race. And uh, at this point, I still have no resolution on getting a refund or a replacement for that car. So that's really uh, prompted me to think twice about buying any more slot car stuff. Okay, This stuff is too expensive pay that much money and have it not work and have neither the manufacturer nor the retailer honor uh, their own terms of service so um, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be very cautious in the future about what we uh, pick up for this so uh, let's gonna do the Mercedes first this time uh, I've got it on speed level six I want to see if I can handle this car at speed level six everything except for the Porsche has been on speed level five Porsche I've ramped up to eight simply because the Porsche can handle speed level 8. I don't know if this car will handle speed level 6 or not. We're going to see. We're going to see if maybe we can outperform the Porsche. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll run two minutes in both lanes on this one. Then we'll move on to, I think we'll do the Aston Martin next. And then the Corvette, then the Porsche. Okay. So let me grab this mirror. And it's not broken. It just, it falls out. Um, I'll just stick this in my pocket for now. So here we go. The Mercedes AMG. Speed level six, two minute time trials in each lap. We'll start with lap number one. We'll see if I can control this thing. I don't know. Let's find out. False start. <sighs> My mistake. You heard it beep as well as I did, and yet it still says the false start. I must have tapped the trigger beforehand. Be very careful this first couple of laps. Okay, not bad at all. So we got 34 laps out of that, which is what we got the last time. That's interesting. Fastest lap, 3.375. Yep, faster than uh, speed level 5. Last time was 3.452. So yeah, it performed better. Still only 34 laps. Okay, so now we'll put this in the inside lane or lane two we'll do the same test let's see if i can keep it in control start 
Here's hoping. Very slow to start with. Find my racing line. There goes a lap. Whoa, I almost lost it again. Nice. All right. I wonder if that last lap counted because it happened right before that. Okay, 31 laps. It's exactly what I got last time, so I must have had a crash last time as well. Fastest lap, 3.775. Hey, it's faster. So, you know what, Chappie? We're upgrading the Mercedes to speed level 6 because I can clearly uh, uh, drive the car at that speed. I, I don't feel confident doing the Aston Martin or the Corvette at speed level 6 yet, if I ever will. Okay, next we'll do the uh, uh, Aston Martin Vantage. And uh, let's see. Oh, I need to put the mirror back on the Mercedes. You know, even if I glued it in there, it would still break off eventually. So a lot of people just take the wings and the mirrors and the antenna off their slot cars when they race them and put them back on when they're in storage. You see the truth of it. They really need to make the, these parts out of better materials that won't break as easily. And yeah, it is possible. Hasbro has made a career out of making shit out of soft rubber. So uh, yeah, I did hear the car scraping up against the uh, barricade. By the way, I did hear that. Uh, that's a thing. That's what happens at high speeds with these slot cars. So here is the one tail light uh, Aston Martin Vantage GT3, I believe. We start. Here we go. Left lane or flame one. See if we can keep it under control. Whoa. Really got to slow down on that one. Too bad. That's going to be a terrible. It's a weird place. Oh, I did it again. Same spot. Ugh. A poor showing from the Aston Martin.
Oh, okay. Race finished. All right, how we do? 30 laps. That's, uh, yeah, down from last time. We had 32 laps last time. And the fastest lap time, 3.611. Oh, that's actually uh, better than last time. So I took more risks, and I probably crashed more, but I got a faster lap time, but down two laps as a result. Okay. Lane two. Here we go. Okay, yeah, it eats it at a different spot on the lane, too. Uh, now I'm timid. Oh! Come on, that's two crashes. Okay, so we got 28 laps. That's the same as we got last time. Fastest lap, 3.975. That's gonna be down, I think. Uh, no, it's up. Uh, last time it's 4.028. So, believe it or not, that was a better showing than last time, uh, despite the uh, errors. Okay, now we'll move on to the Porsche, which is set at speed level eight. And with nothing to prove, I'm not going to gun this. I'm not going to try to, to, to outperform myself last time. And I crashed a few times last time. So we'll be a little more uh, gentle with this time around. I say that, then I start chasing that fastest lap. Okay. This is going to win it all. I mean, even if it crashes 10 times, it's still going to win. Here we go. Uh, left lane. Too fast, I can hear it hitting the barricades. Oh, nice recovery.
effectively crashed. Okay. Racing fever at the end there. Okay. Uh, we'll call that a superb result because I'm really pleased with the performance there. 40 laps. That's a new record. It was 39 last time. And fastest lap 2.779. Uh, up from 2.974. So, breaking records here. And now, listen, when I add on to this track, if I ever add on to it, uh, these lap times are going to change. I mean, obviously, as we add length to the track, so that's something to consider. Um, again, I wasn't really trying to, to break any records there. It just kind of happened. All right. Reset. Lane two. Oh, come on. All right. There we go. Got to be a little more careful in this lane. doing so well. Slow it down a little. I think we're going to break the fastest lap now because we've already peaked. Oh, held it! Try any more fast. Oh, Time's guess up. not. Well, we got to go around for it to finish the race. Race finished. Okay, 34 laps. That's that's damn. Nope, that's up one. I got 33 last time. So 40 laps in the outside lane, 34 in the inside. That's the nature of this track. There aren't as many left hands. There's there's one, two, three, four right hand turns and only one left hand turn. That's why that's the way it is. Fastest lap, 3.242. Oh! Now this is an anomaly. That's exactly what I got last time as the fastest lap, 3.242. So I think we found the, uh, the peak performance on this car. Okay, now that leaves the Corvette, which will not perform that well. I'll be lucky to keep the Corvette on the track. But I'm getting better. We have video evidence that I'm getting better at this. And uh, that's what it's all about. Okay, let me see where we are on time. See if I can give you any sort of epilogue at the end of this. Does that say 20 minutes? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, I can sit and gab at the end of this. Okay, here comes the Corvette. C7.R. It was my favorite car until the Mercedes came along, despite its poor performance record. So here we go. See if we can top last time. Nice 
the slide right there. Slow down in that corner. Oh, put it right there. Okay, pretty poor showing. 33 laps, which is actually much, much better than last time. No, or is it? Yeah, one more better. 33 laps. I only got 29 laps in this lane. So we'll see if we can do better than that. And the fastest lap was 3.371. Hey, that's that's up from last time. So not a poor showing at all, really. Uh, just disappointed that I can't keep these things on the track. Uh, in fact, we've crashed them all tonight, haven't we, or this evening? Uh, so now we'll move on to lane two. Okay, let's see. Our fastest lap last time in lane two was 3.970, and we did 29 laps. Let's see if we can do better than that. Not making any guarantees. Here we go. Already almost crashed. It's drifting on every corner. I should hope so. I gotta stay slow here, Chappie. Something. Maybe there's dust on the, or hair on the tires or something. I don't know, but it's, it's trying to eat it on every single turn. So there goes a lap. It ain't happening again. Damn. Just does not hold corners at all. It's like there's not a magnet in it. That's the way it feels. So before I, okay, 28 laps, exactly the same as, nope, one fewer. Got 28 laps, the same as the Aston Martin. 
and fastest lap was 3.878. Hey, that's up. Okay, so, well, we got one fewer lap in, but we did improve our lap time. Uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and power down the track and turn off the racing app, and we'll, uh, we'll sort of, uh, debrief, and then, uh, I'll say some words before I float with some spare time here. First thing I need to do is hydrate. That's something I normally do between races. So, yeah, we got a few minutes here. I'll talk. So, uh, let's compare here. So, the Corvette, let's see, 30, okay, so the Aston, well, it's, the order is exactly as I thought it would be as far as number of laps. Porsche, four, uh, uh, lane one, 40. Uh, Mercedes 34, Corvette 33, Aston Martin only 30. Okay, so, and 2.279 for the, or 2.779 for the Porsche, 3.375 for the Mercedes, ooh, 3.371 for the Corvette. It did just a little better than the Mercedes on the on lame one. And then 3.611 for the Aston Martin in lame one. Lane 2, it was 34 laps for the Porsche, 31 for the Mercedes, and then 28 each for the Aston Martin and the Corvette. Porsche blows everyone away with 3.242, Mercedes 3.775, then the Corvette 3.878, then the Aston Martin 3.975. The, the Corvette is outperforming the Aston Martin all of a sudden. Well, not all of a sudden, it's been a gradual thing, hasn't it? It's just, the, the Corvette is just so hard to control, so I'm getting better at controlling it. The Aston Martin, the Aston Martin would win a drag race. It would beat all these cars in a drag race because its motor allows more RPMs than any of the others. Um, it would easily win a drag race, but it just eats it in every corner at, at top speed, flat out. So, um, well, okay, that's very interesting. My, I'm, my skills are definitely improving, uh, and we we get a better sampling if I went up to three minutes. I think that would give us a that would tell it. You know, with a higher number of minutes to play with, um, the crashes and the D slots become less significant, less crippling, less problematic. You know, um, we 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 might at some point do little mini episodes of five minutes per car, so it'd be a ten minute episode. Uh, I worry that might overheat the motors on these things. Uh, these things are not durable. And we're finding that out. I mean, I got one that was broken on receipt. It lost a tail light on another one. Lost a spoiler on another one. These things are not durable at all. And and I don't even have this thing up on a desk or on a table, or with overpasses and stuff. These things aren't falling from great heights. They're just they're just fragile. So and that's the thing, Chappies. Uh, I I really enjoy this, uh, but it's probably not going to be sustainable because I can't afford it. Uh, I can't afford to replace parts on these things. I can't afford to upgrade, constantly upgrade things on these things like tires and pinion gears and uh, axle gears and motors and LEDs and and chassis and, and, and body and body shells. I, I just can't do it. Uh, when these break, they're broken. And, um, well, at that point, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But maybe sometime in the future, I'll look at a smaller scale like... 143 scale that would be Carrera Go and nothing else hardly or um, maybe 164 scale but that's just as expensive as 132nd scale uh, 160 HO scale 164 scale is outrageously expensive you just if I feel like 143 is probably the sweet spot value for money wise but I uh, can't be certain about that uh, so we'll keep doing this as long as the equipment lasts. I'm, more, I'm doing my best to maintain it and keep it in good condition, but you know, just like an actual vehicle, there is wear and tear involved. And, and you know, for, toy, for, for little toys, I, I can't be spending more than I spend on my actual vehicle to keep these things maintained. So uh, that's just the way it is. But until, and until that day comes, I will still enjoy this, but certainly not every weekend. I can't get this thing out every weekend. It takes me 45 minutes to an hour to set up, takes me 30 minutes to tear down, maybe a little longer than that, and, and there's other things to do now, and so I've got to take this down at this point, but next time we get it out, we'll film something, whether it's these time trials or, or maybe something else. Okay, well, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.